cowboys, trucks, heat waves. Some stereotypes about Texas are true. Our next homeowner turned to ancient desert architecture to stay cool on his dream ranch. Hi, I'm Ryan Rungi. Welcome to my home on the range. When building their first home together, Ryan Rungi and his wife Melissa got their hands dirty using nature's most elemental building block. This is an awesome home on the range, man. <laughs> what do you think? The Rungi range, I'm Grundy. Uh, Grundy, uh, Rungi, yeah. Rungi, Grundy. Good to meet you. As soon as I saw your name, I was like, yeah, oh, I like yeah. this guy. Uh, yeah, I like Same this guy. Here. Tell me about these bricks, man. This is 9,500 compressed earth blocks mm -hmm. at about 18 pounds a block. That's a good 175,000 pounds a block. Wow. So there, is there any cement in it? We any... put about 8% cement in these blocks. Okay. That's what makes it nice and dense and mm -hmm. sturdy and fireproof and uh, tornado proof, essentially, because mm -hmm. th this wall weighs 1,200 pounds per linear foot. So there's nothing blowing this thing away yeah. for a long, long time. Did you do that all yourself? Just oh man, I, I, <laughs> I wish I'm strong, but not that strong. We use a machine with, with hydraulics. Well, let's see it. All right, come on in. The thousand square foot, two bedroom, one bath home sits on 37 acres just outside of San Antonio, Texas. Built from compressed earth blocks, the structure is completely off the grid and safe from termites, mold, fire flood, tornadoes, hurricanes, and even bullets. So when you look at it that way, it, it, there's really something in it for everybody. I mean, if you're worried about your energy bills and if you're worried about the health of your family and your kids, if you're a prepper and you're worried about World War III kicking off, build an earth block house. Yeah, you, you've got kind of a fortress here. I mean, this is like a little Alamo. Folks have used earth bricks for millennia, clearly for good reason. They are eco-friendly, durable, and stand the test of time. So these compressed earth blocks are really just a new spin on an ancient technology. We've been building with some version of compressed earth blocks or adobe or rammed earth for, as far as we know, 5,000 years. To create the blocks, Ryan used a machine that compresses the dirt into about double its density. It can roll out almost 500 blocks an hour that are uniform in size. And the best part, the dirt came from a quarry just a few miles down the road. It's often just a waste stream of material for these quarries who are mining gravel or sand or whatever already, and they're coming up with this clay-based soil that they don't need. So it's just a great feeling to be able to reuse materials and really reduce our carbon footprint. The most labor-intensive part was building the chimney, which extends over 14 feet tall and ties the house together. This was 1,500 blocks by itself. They'll come excavate San Antonio in 2,000 years, and this will be the last thing standing in this city. <laughs> you can have a fire in the bedroom. You can have a fire out here on the patio. Um, it's really just a, a great way to enjoy an evening. Ryan and Melissa applied their unique and utilitarian style to the interior as well. These are these really cool uh, turquoise glass insulators that come off power poles that were on a, a relative's ranch sitting there in a, in a pasture. It's awesome. I can see you're reusing a lot. The ceiling, tell me about that. Yep, so this is some reclaimed beadboard. It actually um, originated on a building on the Riverwalk here in San Antonio where they were renovating. So it's really cool that we can kind of tie back this ceiling in our house to this um, you know, well-known place. And who knows the stories that this beadboard could tell. These boards came off a hundred year old um, saloon, so it's just kind of cool to think about. Yeah, could be a saloon, could be a warehouse, let, could be let, a brothel. Let your imagination grow. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Texas. <laughs> How about the floor? This is an earthen floor. Mm -hmm. uh, this is 100% dirt and then when it dries we put this linseed oil it's hard it's hard like concrete but then it's it's forgiving i feel like that yeah people swear by the benefits of having earth under your feet uh, especially opposed to say concrete which is which is horrible for your body this is a very natural uh, very forgiving um, you just feel healthy when you're walking on this earthen floor barefoot. I'm just, I'm getting that right now. Yeah, huh? yeah. Well, okay. well, you gotta, you gotta take your shoes off. It works a lot better. Well, with, you yeah, set yeah. me up. Okay. No, no, no. Let's do it. You don't believe me? I want to feel it. Give it the Pepsi challenge. I want to feel. Yeah, you take yours off okay. too. Okay. okay. You energized? I feel the earth you coming feeling, through me. You feeling better? <laughs> I do. I'm, I'm, feel, I'm feeling good. It really does yeah. feel yeah. nice. It feels nice, right? I'm Soft. loving it. Ryan's dream ranch wouldn't be complete without the ultimate pet. A Texas Longhorn. Are these uh, reclaimed cows? They or? are actually. These, <laughs> these are one of our Craigslist finds. You, you can find anything on Craigslist. I love it. <laughs> we got Elsie 
twinkles, pumpkin spice, and cinnamon. You can just sit there on our, on our patio and, and just watch the cows graze and, and everything's right in the world. At home on the Rungi Range, Ryan is passing on a legacy of love for family and the earth his children will inherit. I had never built a home before, but with the earth blocks, it's so intuitive and it's just one block at a time and it was really a family effort and a team effort and we love this house. Every time we, we look at it, we just marvel. We feel such pride. This house really came together very well and uh, we love it.